guys and welcome to DIY Hair School and on today's video we are going to do my lips. I get asked all the time what I have on my lips in most of my videos and I can't promise you this is what I do with my lips on 100% of my videos but like 99.9% .9 of days when I get ready and do my makeup whether I'm just hanging at home working or filming content I do the exact same thing with my lips um, because I feel like it makes them look fuller I just like the way it looks it lasts a really really long time I don't have to reapply it and yeah and it always gets a ton of compliments and people are always wondering what I did so I'm going to show you exactly what I do it's really easy you don't need much let's go so the only things you're going to need are a little brush and some bronzer. You probably could use your finger for this as well if you really wanted to, but I'm using um, just a really cheap Essence bronzing palette. Um, I use this sort of like medium shade, not too dark, um, but that's one thing you're going to need is a bronzer. You're also going to need a darker lip liner. So this one is the Maybelline Color Sensational. It is in shade 104 Gone Grage. I like it because it is quite dark. Um, it is sort of like a dark nude, if that makes sense. But you want one that's going to have a good amount of contrast with your lips, but not like an intense color. You know, you know, you're not looking for like a red or a purple or a brown. Something that looks like a nude, but is a lot darker than your natural lip color. This one might work for you, or you might find another shade depending on your skin tone and your lip tone. And then the only other thing we're going to use is Aquaphor. This I love. I love it for like everything, but I love this on my lips. So that is what I do. Let me show you how I do it. I'm going to start with the bronzer, and I take just a tiny bit of the bronzer, literally not much at all, and I'm just going to put it here, and then I'm going to put it here. I'm kind of going across the bottom of my lip and on my skin underneath, aiming mostly for my skin. When I do this with a more full face look, if I'm going out, I will go in with more of a precision brush and kind of almost line the out, overline my lips in a darker bronzer. But it's a bit much on days like this when I really just do a natural look with my makeup. So this is what I do. So you probably could skip this step, but I feel like it just adds that little bit of shadow to your lip that just kind of makes it look like you got a little bit of lip filler. Um, and I like to make it look like my lips are a little fuller. And then we're going to use our liner. So we're going to kind of overline our lips. We're not writing, doing it right on our skin though. We're kind of going right along, right where our skin and our lip meets, but not just like outside your lip. You're kind of skimming halfway between your lip and your skin. So you can see you want it dark enough that you can see the color. Already you can see how full the lips look. And then I'm just going to go in and softly buff the edges where the lip liner is. But you want to be careful not to completely blend it out. You do want to leave the lips looking a little bit lined, but not quite so harsh 90s line. Sometimes I leave it a little harsher. But again, that's usually when I've got more of like a full face makeup look going on. Not so much a softer look. I do really like this Maybelline liner for this because it's really creamy so it buffs out really nice. Uh, it's super pigmented but is creamy so it's not super dry and it's just softens on my lips really well. So there we go and then we're going to go in with the Aquaphor. Just take a little bit. And the thing I love about the Aquaphor, it stays shiny and creamy and moist for hours. 
There we go. It literally, I feel like when I do this to my lips that it looks like I got like half a syringe of lip filler, which I've never got, but that's what I imagine it would look like. <laughs> I think it's the perfect nude lip and I think it's the perfect nude lip because it is my nude lips with just a little bit of enhancement. So there we go. I hope that helps. I hope that's a makeup tip that you can try and use and get your perfect nude lip look because how could your actual nude lips not be your perfect nude lip look? Thanks so much for watching today, guys. Let me know in the comments if there's any other content that you would like to see because I would love to make it for you. Like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos because I do post three times a week and I do post every day in my shorts and on Instagram and on TikTok. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. Bye.